Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me with another new video. If you like the video, please do like, subscribe, share and comment below. Let's start today's class that is UGC Net Paper 2 Education Unit 3 Learner and Learning Process with the subtopic Approaches to Intelligence from Unitary to Multiple. Till now we have understood about social intelligence, multiple intelligence. Today uh, we are going to learn about emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. What is emotional intelligence? Understanding about emotions, our feelings, using our emotions, maybe happiness, maybe sadness, anger, stress, then managing those emotions and then perceiving emotions, different emotions we perceive also during our lifetime. So let's start with the topic. Emotional intelligence as a psychological theory was developed by Peter Salovey and John Mayer. Now let's understand this emotional intelligence with the definition given by Mayer and Salovey in the year 1997. Emotional intelligence is the ability to perceive emotions, to access and generate emotions so as to assist thought, to understand emotions and emotional knowledge and to reflectively regulate emotions so as to promote emotional and intellectual growth. So emotional intelligence is one ability. Sometimes some emotions are inhibit in ourselves. Sometimes we perceive them. To access and generate emotions, what do we do? We assist our thoughts. We have to understand our emotions so that emotional knowledge, whatever we have about ourselves, we will be able to cope up with our stress or we can have relationships with others. And we, ha we can reflect uh, those things, whatever emotions we have shown to others, we can reflect upon them and we can regulate if those emotions are not up to the mark. So we have to promote emotional and intellectual growth, they say. Now, what is emotional intelligence or EQ? That is emotional quotient. What is it technically? Emotional intelligence, otherwise known as emotional quotient or EQ, is the ability to understand, use, manage your own emotions in positive ways to relieve stress. Communicate effectively, emphasize with others, overcome challenges and diffuse conflict, obviously. So, we have to understand and manage our own emotions in a positive way. Why? To relieve our st stress. If negativity is there, the stress will continue. So, Communicate effectively and emphasize on others how the empathy that is also very important. We have to overcome our emotional imbalances, whatever challenges come, we have to diffuse those conflicts. Emotional intelligence helps you build stronger relationships, succeed at school and work and achieve your career and personal goals. It can also help you to connect with your feelings, turn intention into action and make informed decisions about what matters most to you. Yes, emotional intelligence always help us to build a stronger relationship with others. Also, when we were young, when we studied in schools, obviously we have relationships with teachers, our peer groups. So why we could manage those emotions and build these relations because we are emotionally connected. Emotional knowledge is there. Emotion, intellectual emotions are there. So to achieve all these personal and also career goals, emotional imbalance is not correct. Balance is perfect. So 
those emotions we can turn into actions which will give better relations now emotional intelligence is commonly defined by four attributes in general number one self management you are able to control impulsive feelings and behaviors manage your emotions in healthy ways take initiative follow through on commitments and adapt to changing circumstances so self management is very general uh, attribute of emotional intelligence and then self awareness what are we recognize ourselves our emotions how they affect our thoughts and behavior and also strengthen strengths and weaknesses we, we should understand and also have self confidence that is self awareness then social awareness that is pertaining to society empathy understanding others feelings and also you can understand the emotions needs and concerns of other people and you can pick up some emotional cues of other people and accordingly we can behave feel comfortable socially and recognize the power dynamics in a group or organization then relationship management that means how to develop and maintain good relationship with others and communicate clearly that is they should understand what you want to express then inspire and influence others by our emotions we can inspire and influence others also and we can work in team if we have relationship management and we can manage conflicts also now why is emotional intelligence so important it's a scientific fact that emotions precede thought when emotions run high they change the way our brains function diminishing our cognitive abilities decision making powers and even interpersonal skills understanding and managing our emotions and the emotions of others helps us to be more successful in both our personal and professional life that means why we need intellect this emotional intelligence means to succeed in our life and to run emotions in a high which can change our thought process and which can sometimes diminish our thinking abilities also we should have best decision making power how we can have through the help of emotional intelligence and managing our emotions understanding other people so that we have successful in personal and professional life at a personal level emotional intelligence helps us have uncomfortable conversations without hurting feelings obviously when we converse with other people we should consider the feelings of others also so that they will not get hurt with our conversation then managing our emotions when stressed or feeling overwhelmed when we are stressed also when we are overwhelmed also we should manage our emotions should not go to extremes or deteriorate then improve relationships with the people we care about obviously with our emotions only we can have better relationships with the people who we care about at work emotional intelligence can help us resolve conflicts coach and motivate others create a culture of collaboration build psychological safety within teams obviously when we have the emotional intelligence at work place also we will never have a conflict with others we can move smoothly with our work then coach and motivate others if we are emotionally balanced we can coach others also we can help other people also to have balanced life then create a culture of collaboration working with others collaboration is also very very important aspect of emotional intelligence then build psychological safety within teams if you are psychologically strong you can motivate and help other people in your team also the very most important thing now we are going to discuss that is daniel goleman's five components of emotional intelligence the following steps describe the five components of emotional intelligence at work as developed by daniel goleman goleman is a science journalist who brought emotional intelligence on the best seller list 
and has authored a number of books on the subject including emotional intelligence, working with emotional intelligence and lately of social intelligence, the new science of human relationships. Now let's understand the five components of emotional intelligence given by Daniel Goleman. First one is we have discussed already in general attributes of emotional intelligence that is self-awareness, knowing about ourself, recognizing and understanding personal moods and emotions. Sometimes when we talk to people, if our mood is not perfect, we won't be able to connect with those people and our drives as well as their effect on others that will be. Then hallmarks of self-awareness include self-confidence, realistic self-assessment and a self-deprecating sense of humor. Self-awareness depend on one's ability to monitor one's own emotions, emotional state and to correctly identify and name one's emotions. So self-awareness is very very important uh, even Daniel Goldman has supported. Then self-regulation, the ability to control and redirect disruptive impulses and moods and the propensity to suspend judgment and to think before acting. That is regulating ourselves. We should think whatever we say before. We should think 100 times before saying one sentence. That is very important to have emotional balance, controlling ourselves and also trustworthiness and integrity will increase because of this self-regulation. We have comfort and with ambiguity and openness to change. That is very important. Openness to change, then you can regulate yourself. Then the third one, internal motivation. That is passion to work for internal reasons that go beyond money and status. What your mind and heart says you should follow rather than going for external rewards such as inner vision of what is important in life, a joy in doing something, curiosity in learning, a flow that comes with being immersed in an activity. Rather than going external rewards, we should believe in our inner selves. So what, if we do that thing, if I do that thing, if I get that thing, that means I am going to get some satisfaction with that. That means if I am doing any learning, that if I am curious to learn, obviously I will go forward. Then strong drive to achieve optimism even in the face of failure. When failure comes also, we should take it in optim optimism. So uh, you should not go in pessimist way optimistic way if we go that means we are having best emotional balance then empathy understanding others feelings the ability to understand the emotional makeup of other people a skill in treating people according to their emotional reactions so hallmarks include expertise in building and retaining talent cross-cultural sensitivity and service to clients and customers in an educational context, empathy is often thought to include or lead to sympathy, which implies concern or care or a wish to soften negative emotions or experiences in others. Sympathy is having kind-heartedness towards others, but empathy is understanding the feelings of others, putting ourselves in other shoes. Then social skills. Lastly, Proficiency in managing relationships and building networks and an ability to find common ground and build rapport. Hallmarks of social skills include effectiveness in leading change, then persuasiveness and expertise building and leading teams. These are social skills. Now let's conclude our topic. The skills that make up emotional intelligence can be learned at any time. However, it's important to remember that there is a difference between simply learning about emotional quotient and applying that knowledge to your life. Just because you know you should do something does not mean you will, especially when you become overwhelmed by stress, which can override your best intentions. In order to permanently change behavior in ways that stand up 
under pressure you need to learn how to overcome stress in the moment and in your relationships in order to remain emotionally aware then emotional intelligence is a skill that can be learned and also measured as we measure intelligent quotient same way we can measure emotional quotient also emotional intelligence also then our level of emotional intelligence can be measured as our emotional quotient or eq so iq plus eq equal to success emotional quotient plus intelligent quotient that is equal to success so we come to uh, the end of this session please do like share and subscribe and comment below hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification of further videos thanks for your attention and time happy learning